Hi, I'm Laura with Nature Investigations. And this week, as I was hiking through the woods, I noticed some big trees. And these were oak trees. Certain types of oaks can grow for centuries, getting to be very large, representing strength in some cultures. So how do we identify these oak trees? I thought that I would give you some clues to get started. But before I get started, you need to know that there are about 69 species of oaks across North America and there are 200 subspecies or more of oaks, which makes identification of oaks extremely tricky. And then all of these oaks can vary depending on region, weather events, soil type, disease, and how old the tree is. So like many naturalists, I simplify it. I put oaks into two different groups, the red oaks and the white oaks. So here are some clues to help you do that. The first clue is, is the tree opposite or alternate, meaning the buds or the branches. So look at the branches and the twigs, and you'll notice that maples, ashes, and dogwoods, they have opposite placement, whereas trees like oak trees are alternate. Second clue, is there a cluster of buds at the tip of the branches? Oak buds cluster at the tips of the twigs. The most important clue and the best way to categorize an oak as being either in the red oak group or the white oak group is by looking at the leaves. Maybe you're lucky and some oak leaves are still clinging to the branches of the tree in winter. Red oak leaves have pointed lobes with a bristle at the tip of each point. White oak leaves have rounded lobes or edges in comparison. Another clue to look for are acorns. Inside the shell of red oak acorns, they have a few hairs, whereas white oaks are hairless. Also the cup of red oaks the scales are flat, whereas on the white oak, the cup scales are bumpy. And the last clue, look at the bark, although this can be tricky. Usually white oak bark is whitish or grayish and has a flaky appearance and some of it might peel, where red oak bark is darker and it might have ridges, but no peeling. Hopefully this will help you get started in identifying oaks in your neighborhood. See you next time.